Good day, everyone. My name is Carissa Moses, and I'm presenting alongside with my research partner, Alanika Kalane. Our mentors are Dr. Robert Souls and Dr. Marilyn Brandt. And today we'll be presenting on the topic of quantifying the spread of Sony coral tissue loss disease in the U.S. Virgin Islands. SOD is a disease that kills the affected corals within weeks or months by destroying its tissues, leaving behind white lesions. The disease originated from the Florida Keys and was discovered in St. Thomas in 2018. And since then, it has recently spread to the islands of St. John and St. Croix. Coral reefs are important ecosystem providers to the U.S. Virgin Islands as it provides us with shoreline protection from storms, beach recreation, better water quality, medicine uses, fish supply, and contributes to our tourism industry as well as provide a habitat for our marine life. Thus, our research question is, how can the spread of SOD be quantified? The methodology used to estimate the diffusivity was to first start with the data from when the disease first emerged in the, U in the USDI. Then each month we measured how far the distance spread by looking at the initial month when this infected site first emerged which is represented by N, to the following month, which is represented by N plus one. We then made a distance matrix between all of the previously infected sites to the newly emerged infected sites in the N plus one site. For each newly infected site in the N plus one month, we determined the distance to the closest existing infected reef site and made the matrix. Next, we measured the average minimal distance between the closest infected reef sites to the newly infected reef sites and created a model of the relationship between the distance the disease travel from the initial outbreak and time. Now for our results. This first graph represents the distance that slowly traveled from the initial outbreak in kilometers. The disease traveled approximately 1.2921 kilometers per month, and the distances were determined using the equation you see below on the slide. The second graph represents a 95% confidence interval for the minimal distance that scholarly traveled monthly from the initial infected reefs to newly infected reefs. And the average distance was 3,716 kilometers, meters, sorry. The 95% confidence interval was between 2,530.9 and 4,901.1. And we're 95% confident that the rate the disease traveled monthly is between these two red lines on the graph. Here we have another 95% confidence interval for all the minimal distances that scholarly traveled from the initial infected reefs to newly infected reefs. And the average distance was 3,776.2 meters. And the confidence interval generated was between 2,997.5 and 4,554.9. And we're 95% confident that the rate of the disease falls between two red lines on the graph. Here we have a short movie that depicts the path that slowly traveled from the initial infected reefs to newly infected reefs. The red circles represent the initial infected reefs, while the blue circles represent newly infected reefs. And the black line between each set of circles represents the distance that's going to be traveled between the reef sites. Now we have a map of the United States Virgin Islands with ocean currents and the diffusion advection model. 
the yellow arrows represent the ocean currents and the blue, the blue stars represent the coral reef sites. The expanding circle represents how scholarly traveled between the reef sites and also if any of the reef sites are connected in any way. Thus, we can conclude that as time progresses, the spread of Saudi increases. The two 95% confidence intervals for the average distance the disease traveled from initially infected sites to newly infected sites were determined. By understanding the spread of the disease, we can gain a better understanding of the disease and to find efficient and long-lasting treatments to combat the disease. Plans for restoration, restoration of the infected coral reefs can be devised using connectivity graphs. Our future work is to develop a connectivity graph of the coral reefs and to use the model of the ocean currents to compare the upstream versus downstream spread of the disease. Here are our references that we use throughout our research. And here are our acknowledgements. First, we'd like to thank our mentors, Dr. Robert Stoltz and Dr. Marilyn Brand. And we'd also like to thank the NIH Mark at UVI a Holistic Approach and the NSF HBCU Updates Implementation Project, the UVI Growth Model. Here are contact information. You can reach, reach us at these emails at any time if you have any further questions. Thank you for listening. Any questions?